everyone. Today we're talking about the binocular microscope that you'll be using in class. These uh, two ocular lenses or why it's called a binocular. You might see others that just have one, but this actually makes it easier on your eyes so you can use both eyes instead of just one in order to see what you're looking at through um, the objectives down here. So with these, they have a magnification of 10 and depending on what objective lens you're using, uh, you have to multiply the 10 that you, magnification that you get from here with the objective lens magnification that you get from here. So this one is 10, so that would be 10 times 10 is 100. That's low. Then here's high, this is 40, and 40 times 10 is going to be your 400. Then you would move towards oil immersion, which is the 100. So 100 times 10 is gonna be 1,000, okay? We don't really use the four here that's on here. It's just there for fun, I guess. Um, but we don't really use that too much in the um, medical lab at all. So underneath, this is the stage, and the stage is going to hold the actual slide. There are clips, stage clips, um, up here that hold the slide, and you put the slide actually across this hole here so that the light can shine through the bottom, up through the slide, and then come through the objectives and through the oculars into your eyes so that you can see what is actually on the slide. So we put the slide up there, and um, we have the light, that the light source down here, okay? Also called the lamp, whatever one you wanna talk about. Um, so when we turn this on, the light will come up through here. This is a di diaphragm, and if you open and close it, it's going to open and close a circle um, that allows light to go through. Then here is the condenser, which is going to uh, modify the light so that it's either strongly in uh, a condensed beam, like a focus beam, as opposed to not so much of a focus beam. And the only way that that actually happens is for it to go up and down. So it has a knob right here. Um, so let me point to it right there, okay? The big knobs that you see behind that uh, are the coarse and fine adjustment knobs. Let's take you around the side. So here, the, the outside here is the coarse adjustment and here is the fine adjustment. So notice, you know, it, it kind of um, has a degree that's notched on there and that'll take you in and out of focus. So once you get the See the course moves the stage up and down um, pretty, pretty far, whereas the fine, you can barely even see it moving. But once you get the stage to the level that you want it with whatever lens you're using, you can then adjust how nice the picture is uh, with the fine adjustment knob. Or if you're trying to see if something like a cell is sitting on top of a cast or in the cast, you can use the fine adjustment knob to figure that out. By going up and down in focus, you can see whether that cell is truly a part of that cast or if it's only sitting on top of it, which is a big deal. So <laughs> that's why we use this. And then here is the light. Um, you can, sorry, you can't see that. There's a little knob on this bottom here that you can go back and forth with um, making the light brighter or more dim, okay? And so then on this side here, we have the stage adjustment knobs. So you can see that it's making it go forward towards the arm or back towards the person using it. And then you can make it also go side to side. Okay, and this isn't necessarily the stage going side to side. This is this apparatus that has the clips on it for the slide. So you can make the slide move like this. Okay, so this would be helpful in the uh, hematology lab or the um, urinalysis lab where you're looking at, you're looking at slides um, of blood smears or urine 
that you're analyzing due to a um, manual urinalysis or a manual differential in hematology um, or a platelet estimate or something like that uh, where you'd have to do something manually. We do have a lot of automated um, automated analyzers that do the manual processes um, by a computer, you know, and they uh, calculate all the stats that you're looking at. But a lot of times, if something looks a little strange, we'll end up doing a manual count or a manual review of blood or urine in order to make sure that the analysis is actually accurate. So um, that's it for now. And uh, come back and join me and we'll look at some uh, things under the microscope. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye.